Hello, hello, it's a girl Lucy B here and welcome back to another video in this episode of Ask Lucy B. I had a question asking me essentially, how do I add face tracking to my avatar? Well, in today's video, we're going to go over how to pick the correct face tracking, make sure it works, and add it to your avatar. Firstly, you're going to want to pick out the correct face tracking for your avatar. Depends on what avatar that you have. Say your base model is chocolate, the new model by Kamado. You can find face tracking prefabs a number of ways. You could type in chocolate face tracking and see what you can find here. So I found three face tracking settings for chocolate. How you decide which one to purchase depends on what you're looking for. As you can see, some of them only work with certain headsets and some of them have different animations. So I would just go through and watch the videos and see what you like best about the face tracking and how it suits you. So there's also this one. As you can see, the mouth is a little bit wider and more expressive, whereas this one is a little bit less over the top. It just depends on what you prefer. This one looks pretty realistic and cute. And then all you really need to do is follow the instructions that is included with the face tracking. So it may need you to add certain things to your repository. So for example, this one right here requires this blend shape sync to be added to your project. Make sure you read the instructions very carefully to see what you might need. Like this one, you need VRCFT 5.0 unified expressions added. And um, this one works with all of these headsets here. So you need to make sure also that it works with the headset that you have for your eye and face tracking. You wouldn't want to get a Pico Pro face tracking code when you have a Quest Pro or something like that, or let's say the Vive eye tracker. So just make sure you're looking at that too. Another good tip is to go to boothplorer.com and click on this face tracking here. Today, we're going to be working with Lime. The same person who created chocolate also created Lime. I'll go ahead and link this in the description too. So this is the face tracking that we're going to be using today for Lime. And go ahead and read through the instructions here and see exactly what you need to do. It looks like first I need to run a script within the project. All right. Okay. Okay. Totally understand. So let's go ahead and open our VCC. I'll show you here. So with this, we need to make sure that VRCFT Jerry's templates is added to our project. I'll link it in the description in case you need it. And then anything else that you might need, like VRC Fury or modular avatar or anything like that, add it now at this time. And then once we have our project opened in Unity, I'll show you what to do from here. So essentially do not go into the Lime file. Do not put the default Lime or default model into the scene because I won't have the face tracking code in it. The very first thing that it says to do on the booth page is to run the facial tracking patch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Start that. Okay, looks like it was successful. And then in the facial tracking folder, it comes with three prefabs. Now, what's the difference? We have just the generic face tracking variant. We have the Pico 4 Pro variant and we have the Quest Pro variant. So let's just say you have the Quest Pro. So that's the only one that you're going to need. So we'll select that one from down here and put it into the scene. What I like to do here is just reset it, zero points. And then from here, go ahead and customize it as you wish. Put the new outfits, the new hair, the new makeup, everything that you have, put it on the avatar at this time. One tip though, I know in my how to make a custom booth model video, I mentioned that you can switch the blend shapes by dragging these up and down and sort of customizing the face to look however you want. But with face tracking, just so you know, most of the time you cannot mess with these blend shapes. The face has to stay default. Um, otherwise it will mess up how the blend shapes are communicating with the inputs of your face when your device is tracking it. Whenever I've tried to make models with face tracking and adjust the blend shapes, things corrupt and things mess up and, you know, the eyes look really weird when the face tracking is actually happening. So I would not recommend messing with the face blend shapes if you're adding face tracking to your avatar. 
if you do know the way to adjust the blend shapes and add face tracking to your avatar, do let me know in the comments, but it's never worked for me. So yeah, just good rule of thumb, do not mess with these blend shapes. Of course, you can mess with the body blend shapes. The body is being tracked by your full body trackers. There's no face movements there. So feel free to adjust the body blend shapes however you would like. Just a minute, let me customize this lime and we'll go from there. Perfect, we customized our lime and she's ready to be uploaded. That's all you need to do, the face tracking works completely fine. Now, I don't have a Quest Pro, but avatars that I've made with face tracking have worked for friends and clients all the time just by doing these simple steps. Just make sure with some face tracking that you do have the correct codes in your repository. You follow the instructions on the page very carefully. And if it says run the facial tracking patch, do that before you start working on your model or you will have to redo all of your work over again. Trust me, I've learned the hard way. So let's go ahead and get her into play mode. Let's do gesture manager emulator and I'll show you. All right, so as you can see in the expressions here, you can disable and enable lip tracking, eye tracking, gesture expressions disabled, the tongue tracking as well, the Quest Pro has, which is really cool. And all of the facial tracking settings are here in the menu installed properly. It should work. Just upload it and you're good to go. And that's a quick overview of how to find the right facial tracking setting that you need and how to install it to your avatar. Again, each facial tracking patch is going to be set up a little bit differently, so keep that in mind and make sure you follow the instructions very carefully. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Ask Lizzie B. And I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. You take care. Bye.